trying to clean my lips hi guys and welcome back to my channel i'm going to be doing my clean girl makeup routine prime my face with my milk hydro grip primer i to prime my face my hands are washed already so that's good if i'm looking this way it's because my mirror is here so you guys can see welcome if you're seeing um, a white cast, it's my sunscreen, so I don't worry too much about it. Okay, now I'm done priming. You guys, I wash my makeup brushes in the middle of the night at like 3 a.m. and they are not dry. <sighs> I don't even know why I did that. I mean to wash my makeup brushes, but like I only decided that oh, I wanted to film this video today and then I was just like oh shit my makeup brushes aren't washed so that's why I washed them at like 3 a.m now they're not now they're not dry but I can only use my beauty blender can't use my makeup brushes I like a damp beauty blender so I don't mind that the next thing I'm going to do is use my 24 hour brow setter for benefits I know there's no way to focus let me just I'm just telling you I'm, I'm just letting you know what I'm using you don't need to see so I'm just setting my eyebrows it actually sets my brows that's why I like it I'm going to redo my eyebrows now. I'm using the precisely my brow pencil by Benefit. So I'm using the MAC concealer in NC45. I'm going to have a good brow day. Period. Next thing I'm going to do is go in with my foundation. My NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop foundation in the shade Cappuccino and Nutmeg. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I want to try? I actually want to try using an actual brush to blend out my foundation. Because when I see people do that i'm always like i wish i wish i wish i could but like i'm just scared i'm just very used to like beauty blenders that i feel like a brush might not do it for me or blend it well but like i hear a lot of people say that using a blush i say blush i hear a lot of people say that using a brush to blend out your foundation is so much better than using a beauty blender which I can believe because this beauty blender all it does is just soak up your product really and truly. Next thing I'm going in with is my Too Faced Bond This Way Antilla to contour and table. There's like so much products in here. I use literally like the tiniest amount. So I wonder how long it'll actually take me to run out. If like see I, I don't use anything. I don't think I'll run out of this anytime soon. I'm going to use another clean beauty blender to blend out my contour. The next thing I'm going in with is my instant anti-age eraser um by Maybelline. I'm going to use the same beauty blender I used to blend my foundation and blend out my concealer. Highlighter is just blending in 
seamlessly into my skin. It's it's very therapeutic. Even though my makeup is stressful, it can be stressful, but once I start and it's going so well, very therapeutic. Guys, I'm going to have a good makeup day. I can feel it. I can feel it in my bones. Hey Siri, play Rush by Ira Star. Here's Rush by Ira Star. Hey. So next. I'm going to be setting my face with my Sasha Buttercup. Setting powder. Okay, next so I'm going to be using my NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette uh, Powder Contour. Whenever I use clean brushes and clean beauty I said blend blenders. I know I use clean brushes and clean beauty blenders for my makeup. I just know that my makeup is going to be good. I just be knowing. It's the fact that I don't know what they are saying, but I'll still be dancing and singing to it. What if they are saying some demonic stuff? Is here singing and dancing to it? Please, if you're Yoruba and you're watching this video, should I say dear? Next, I'm going in with my Imani all over the face powder. Um, I got a Laura Mercier over the face powder. I haven't tried it yet. Still yet to try it. But I'll try it soon. I just want to stick with this one for now. Alright, next thing I'm using is my MAC blush and Love Thing. No such thing as too much blush. Rosy cheeks, rosy chin. Rosy nose. She has a Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. That's what I'm going to be using. I'm using my micellar water and a cotton pad to rub off the foundation residue on my mouth. While I just wait for my setting spray to dry down a bit. Next, I'll be putting some highlighter. People don't really use highlighters anymore. At times I've actually forgotten to put on highlighter and I didn't mind it at all because it didn't make a difference. But I choose, I choose to put it. Next, I lined my lips with my Nabi lip liner and chestnut. I don't even know where I got this from, but I'm not using my MAC one because I notice every time I use the MAC one, it always moves. Like, what I prefer a darker brown. This one's light. I think I might not have to use my MAC lip liner. Oh, I won't do too much. MAC lip liner in Costa Rica. I just hate the fact that this MAC lip liner always moves after I apply my lip gloss. As per usual, I'm going to be using my Dior Addict lip glow oil in Cherry. Raspberry, yeah, raspberry. I usually put my lip gloss on my lip liner, but this time I don't think I'll do that. I really like how this look came out. Hey guys, so this is my clean girl makeup routine. I hope you guys enjoyed watching as much as I love filming this. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend. Bye, I'll see you guys in my next video.